Cincinnati seven and one Morgan State two and five and Cincinnati Clark we'll talk more about him uh, during the broadcast and Mick Cronin said that uh, they're working hard to get him to be a little bit more aggressive he could be a double double guy before the season's over here's Since Copain Cincinnati has a decided advantage in the paint Thomas, Thomas, Thomas getting a lot of freedom I'm not sure if that's a shot Todd wants this early in the shot clock entry pass inside good hustle uh, Octavius Ellis still finished it with that big body that's his first bucket just too big and strong by Ellis and there's the steal and the bucket by Copain. So he's got four. So obviously, the Morgan State kids are going to want to run him off that line. This is a three if it goes. And ring it up. Cop out about it. There's an open look. And it drops in. That's going to be a three ball for Clark. Jennifer, this is a two. Well, the Bearcats are huge inside, aren't they? Yeah, they're huge, and they're going to clean the glass all day, and that's one of the things they got to do. <laughs> Thomas, that's another three if it goes. It doesn't, and the rebound ripped down by Clark. Ring it up. That is a three for Farad Cobb. That's his second. And you want to be better in December than you were in November, and you want to be better in March than you were in February, and that's what they're working on right now. Quadri Moore. The Barry, the offensive stick back. They just can't. Nice drive and the bucket and one. Obviously, both teams are scouting well. Clark, nice feed, and Clark kisses it out the window. He's got five. He's a fearless guy. Nice look inside to Clark, puts that shoulder down and one. Low on the baseline, doesn't go. Rebound by Copain and Bearcats want to run in transition with the flush. I guess no need to hold for the last shot when you have an uncontested. <laughs> Who was going to panic? Did the ball get into the right guy's hands? Obviously, Dante Pretlow, a senior, had the ball under seven seconds on the shot clock. Calmly got to the rim and got a layup. Yeah, the operative word there, calmly. That is a free ball by Thomas. You know, I, I was going to point out, he earned that opportunity by, he ran the floor hard, and he got that bucket, or he got the opportunity to get that bucket about six or eight seconds before he even caught the ball. Trying to trap now again, trying to force some turnovers, get some easy baskets. And the top two guys coming up and trap in the middle in that when they cross half court. Ellis in double figures now with 11. And then remember, they've got a couple of guys out with injuries. Morgan State has Andrew Hampton, another three-point shooter, out with an injury. He was in a car accident, and they're not sure if he'll come back this year. Boy, a great rebound and a kiss off the window. So Kevin Johnson with back-to-back -back buckets. He's got seven off the bench. But Thomas, uh, he's getting about 32 minutes, and uh, Coach Bozeman said he's going to get better when his minutes go down when they get more players back this year. See, he'd like to see him play about between 25 and 28 minutes of ball game and not 32. When you're playing over 30 minutes a game, you always wonder as a coach as a kid.